Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about um, some basic self-defense tips um, that anyone can do. Obviously, there are a lot of really, really effective um, self-defense techniques out there that you can do that are very simple, but today we're going to be working on um, grabbing or gouging, as we like to call it, okay? And there's a few sensitive areas um, of the human body that you can use, you know, use this for specifically. We're going to go with the simple ones first, okay? So we're going to use Jack today. For this, um, so there's under the arms, if he puts his arms out like this, some, there's some very sensitive parts of the body just here and here. On the outside of the body, you're constantly knocking things on this side part of the body, okay, on this part of the body, it, it's being exposed, it's almost like weathered, you know, to, to what's going on. Um, whereas the inside parts are very soft, very sensitive, um, and very susceptible to pain. So. Just um, looking at how you're going, to get, you're going to grab it, essentially, you're just grabbing the, the inside here and you're just going to close, you're just going to make a fist. And it's very, very sensitive, isn't it? Right? Okay, alright. So, if you just pop his arms down. When you're doing this, it's very similar to when your instructor tells you to make a fist in, self you know, in a martial arts class. So, you're closing the fingers down and you're squeezing. So, Anytime you're practicing making what we call the Saken Fist, you're actually improving uh, and practicing gouging. So any sort of grip strength or squeezing type of these is going to help you out with this technique. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to put on the inside here so you can see. So again, look, it's, it's grabbing here and it's each finger and you, you can just do, you can squeeze or you can twist or do each finger or pull down. It is very, very sensitive, very sore. So when you are practicing this with a partner, just be very careful. Don't do it a whole lot because it, you know, it is susceptible to bruising. It is very effective as a self-defense technique. Um, the other part of the body is inside of the thighs. And I would probably say this is even worse than the one we've just done. Um, so on the inside of the thigh in here, right, same again, you can gouge, you can grab, you can twist, you can pull. It's really, really not very nice. So again, you've got to be careful with that. Um, applicable ways you can use this, okay? So this is really effective because some self-defense techniques, um, you know, you need to train a lot and they're complicated. Simple, simple, simple is the most effective. Uh, and, and, you know, women um, and, and small children can perform this. It's nice and simple. So um, most, most simple one is probably some grabbing hold here, okay? They can have one hand or they can have both hands like this. Obviously, there are other di different self-defense techniques you can use, but coming in here and just grabbing that, honestly, here, bang, is enough, you know, for you to, to, to break the grip, or, you know, even you could, from here, you can back up and grabbing, we could grab in here and you pull down, pull down from there, that's very, very sore, especially with grabbing hold, okay? Um, or if someone had you uh, in a headlock, from here, okay, effective, obviously, other things you can do here, they are definitely going to let go. As soon as you grab that one, you've got the leg from there as well, okay. Um, really good one for, for, um, for females, okay, is sometimes if someone has you uh, and you're on your back and the attacker is what we call the mount, if it's a fella, he's probably going to be striking like this, you know, and you'd have to work it in somewhere, but for, for a female, they usually grab and hold of them like we had here or trying to pin them down on their wrists or something like this. With the wrists, you just want as quickly as you can get your hands together, okay, either here or in the middle like this and you want to shoot through to grab the inside of that arm or the inside of the thigh or even better, both. And that is very, very sore. And from there, you want to try and roll your hips as quickly as you can to get them off, all right, okay? Um, works again with the hands around the neck, on the mount here, and again that can work straight in there here. It might take more than one technique, it might take more than one grab here, but again, you can come off here like this and then get up or do what you need to do and get out of there. Um, so, yeah, really, really simple um, self defense technique gouging. Um, practice it in class, give it a go. Thanks a lot. See you next time.